Okay, welcome to Connolly Station in Dublin. We are heading to Belfast on the train. A wee travel day with a difference. Not many train journeys in this channel. Um, Starbucks, first thing you'll notice. I've not actually been right in here yet, so let's walk in and we'll see what they've got inside. I've just bought the ticket here. Let me show you the ticket. There's a ticket there. 30 euros, 40 cents. I don't know if it's cheaper if you buy it online. Possibly could be. There's a the ticket machine. On your right hand side when you come in, there is ticket machines down the stairs before you come in as well. I just find it easier to speak to somebody and buy a ticket to be honest with you. Um, so let me know, is it cheaper to buy it online? I'm not sure. I've just walked from the Temple Bar area and it took maybe just under 20 minutes. Walking pretty fast mind you. Pharmacy there as well. So we're on the 9.30. So that's it, departures. Don't see the, uh, there's the Belfast one there, sorry, yeah. Belfast, platform two. I think it takes just over two hours. If you want to see some travel days um, in Ireland, the Northern Ireland, check out planes, trains and everything. Scott's a good guy from Paisley. Um, I think Steve Marsh might have ones as well, so check them out. I'm just going to do just a wee quick one. Uh, we'll go on the tr train, half past nine, and maybe film a wee bit of the journey. There's Madigan's up there. There we go, a wee shout out to the Madigans. Maybe open later on. Been and gone. Tea, coffee, pastries. So we're going to platform two, which is over here. There's O'Brien's sandwich shop there as well. I'm going to get a wee bottle of water from one of these places. Can't really miss it, the departure board screen up here on the arrivals. It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Not booked a seat or anything like that, so I'll hopefully get a wee window seat to film some of the journey. Maybe some nice scenery. Toilets to the right hand side here as well. And that's O'Brien's in there. Okay, let's head down to platform two. Okay, platform two, let's head to Belfast. I just got a bottle of water from one of the shops there. Two euros forty. Dublin can be expensive, but to be fair, I should have got it on the way here. I should have stacked up with supplies. It would have cost me 50p probably. My shop so we're just going up there okay let's head on to the enterprise they've got a strange system there when you show the ticket you have to go into a wee waiting room and then you come out the kind of back entrance i don't know why they don't just let you just go straight onto the train once they've checked the ticket but anyway let's continue well, i've got a wee cafe in there i've just noticed i might be near the first class we're not in first class unfortunately just standard it's pretty busy this train Head in. A lot of people with big luggage bags. I've just got this wee tiny, tiny bag with me. It's great traveling light. We'll go up to the next one, I think. Coach D and E. I'm not sure if these seats are reserved. I'm going to try and get a window seat if I can. Quite a big train. Right, let's head in to this one here. F. class let's take a wee seat so seems a very nice train I don't know if I'm in the right section we'll find out in a minute Belfast Lannan place that's where we're going that's us leaving 9.31 Goodbye Dublin Water down Train is running 20 minutes late Okay that is us arrived in Belfast. That is one of the most comfortable train journeys I've ever had. We were delayed about 20 minutes, I think, so it took two and a half hours. Um, but very comfortable train. Ticket inspector, quite friendly, keeping us updated to what was happening. Um, just overall, just a good, a good service. Head up to platform 
up there. I don't even know where this place is in Belfast. I'm just walking out. And then I'm going to the Woucher Hotel that I booked. I've calculated maybe saving about £50 pounds in this hotel compared to a normal deal. Go the escalator or the stairs. No, I think I'll go for the escalator. So, yeah, I'm quite impressed with that train service. I think the bus takes about the same amount of time as well. There's not much of a, a difference. Oh, Black Hole Doll has been left on the train. I just left it on there for all the guys that like the announcements at train stations. You ever see there's some channels that just do announcements at train stations? Right, we've got car hire coming out here and we've also got the exit straight ahead. Let's see where we're going here. Still got my ticket here, so I might need this. When we got up here maybe to get through the gate, I would imagine. See if we can squeeze by here. Okay, through the barriers, busy wee train station here, isn't it? There's the lagging bar over there. Probably all the people are waiting on the train, I'd imagine, to get back to Dublin. Uh, that's where you can buy tickets, just right there. Let's head outside. Always exciting to walk out somewhere you've never been before. We'll see where we are. I'll try and get my bearings. I need Google Maps, where this hotel is. I think it's raining outside. Right, coffee lovers. You've got Starbucks here. Ticket machines here as well. Car hire. Right. Not sure if I'm going left or right. People advertising taxis. Right. Where are we here? Taxi ranks right outside. Let's get my bearings here. Yep, no idea really where I am just now. Need to Google Maps the hotel from here. I think it's down that way. We'll see. Okay, we're now in Belfast city centre. It's about a 15 minute walk to the hotel and I'm nearly there a couple of minutes away. I quite like this, reminds me of Liverpool. A lot of streets, signposts telling you where to go. So the Europa bus centre, if you get in the bus, is up to the right. The famous Crown Bar is up there as well. The Grand Opera House. We're going to be going up that way at some point next few minutes, quite a lot of shops down here as well, lots of videos to come from Belfast, I'll have a wee wander about, it's absolutely pouring of rain, I need to get my hat on, um, yeah, we'll wait and see where we end up, Hotel Chocolate, nice eh, beautiful building across the road, uh, Titanic, it's kind of down that way I think, quite a bit outside the city centre the Titanic, Speak to Patrick last night and he told me he once got a deal on the Titanic Hotel for £59. He says it was fantastic, but he didn't do dinner, it was just breakfast. Uh, yeah, so more videos to come. Thanks for watching. A wee bit of a random travel one, this. More videos to come from Belfast and I'm going to go and check it into the hotel. Probably need to leave my bag there, I'd imagine. I'll leave you a link for a member at the end. You can check out the hotel. Let me know what you think.